Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Rosk and you're back at it again. And like usual on our day, let's get right into the new Aimblocks update. And this time let's head right into the balance changes, starting with the Dragunov, it receiving a pretty big dub, reducing its max damage to 67 from 100 and its min damage from 65 to 49, meaning it can't one shot you anymore, which is a good change since this damn thing is even classified as a sniper in Aimblocks. Next on is the Bren, it receiving a pretty good buff this time, increasing its move speed to 1.12 from 1, the max damage going up to 30 from 26 and the min damage going from 25 from 15 to 20 but for that reducing its RPM from 520 to 500 which is not that big of a change to be honest and lastly getting some minor recoil changes it's actually a pretty good contender for your third slot now as its 50 rope mag is pretty good for close range quarters I wouldn't just not go with long range as the spread still kind of screws this gun over still it isn't able to free tap you though. And lastly we have the Chris Vector, also getting a small buff increasing its mag from 30 to 45 and reducing the reload speed from 2.5 to 2 seconds and also receiving some ADS and hipfire recoil buffs. Right into the death notes, you can now view the last week's result of the leaderboard by clicking this little button at the bottom of the leaderboard. Hitrack got an experimental update which means it can be better but also worse. Leave your feedback in the Aimblocks Discord. A new message from Havocorp has popped up revealing that the that we will be getting something on December 8th which is exciting as it could be a new event, a map, perhaps new weapons, who knows. And lastly with the bug fixes, some issues with equipping your gun in the menu has been fixed as well as fixing that bug that prevents attachments from appearing on guns in Crate, which is I guess nice but nothing too broken to be honest. Anyways this has been it with today's update, like usually with bi-weekly updates, this is mostly targeted to change some things with the game which is still quite nice. So anyways, without further ado, let's get right into some gameplay. All right, and here we are already in the first round on Eden. And as per patch notes, we're gonna try out the Bren Anticus Vector, as apparently they should be pretty good now. But we see about that. And so far, I like the look of that. Even though the spread of this thing is always like, it was always pretty bad. This is why I don't like LMGs because for some reasons, LMGs have the worst spread imaginable. Like, always have really bad spread for no reason. And this is what kind of kills them for me, at least. You lag a little much. I don't mind, though, if you do. Someone's above me. And now perish, mortal. I have my graphics in this for That's why I have death bodies on. That's really weird. You have, like, 400 ping. Oh, well, that happens sometimes. But yeah, so far, I'm liking this gun. It's actually not bad. Oh hell, that hard. It was an AK that hit me too. Oh well. Anyways, how is it guys day been? Oh, it's going alright so far. My day has been doing pretty fine overall, at least so far. Nothing much going on recently, to be honest, in my life. Just kind of vibing, existing. And honestly, I've not had much motivation to play recent anything recently. So this is actually the first time I've this is the first thing I've played after this entire week. Yeah, actually, yeah, this is the first time I've played anything this entire week, so you know. I wish this thing wouldn't be so incredibly like, if they, re if they reduce the spread just a little bit, I would actually consider putting this thing as a top tier gun. Oh yeah, right, we also have the Vector still. Can't forget about that thing. I don't particularly like the Vector. Even though now it's definitely better. Even though I just say, just give it a 25 round mag, but make the, like, uh, reload to, like, 1.5 seconds or something. That was all they need to make this thing good. Like a fast reload sh shooting SMG. As you can see, I mean, this thing is actually kind of fine, but like I wouldn't say this thing is very competitively viable against other good players. As you can see, I just died to someone that is definitely not shouldn't have been able to kill me. But other than that, I kind of like the vector. Kind of smooth though. Even though you, you'd literally do better with this thing. Also, thanks a lot, chump uh, punching nerfs. You just saved me because this guy would have killed me 10 of 10 times on every other on the mode. Yeah, the spread kind of is kind of screwing me over. So that you kind of have to move with the spread. I don't know. This, uh, how do you say it? Like, you kind of just have to AD with the, with the uh, spread to make it kind of not dumb. But other than that, this, the spread is actually kind of fine. Would you mind? But yeah, and the headshot hits actually kind of hard. Honestly, I can't deny it. Sadly, this is the only lobby that's actually kind of active. He just killed him. He just offed himself. Luckily, he did not shoot me before that I would have died right there. Where were you the entire time? I did not see him at all. Oh, I, miss, I messed it up. Whoop. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oop, X accidentally click accidentally clipped something because my my clip keys is uh shift f5 and i like to press it by accident quite a lot he messed everything please die i can't allow you to survive thank you please don't reproduce i'm kidding 
Honestly, that's one nice thing about having a very nice and big mag. You can just shoot people down. Honestly, first, like, bad business, like, makes a weapon revamp with the uh, Scar, which is also an LMG. And now we get this thing as a revamp too, which is also pretty nice, honestly. But so far, these LMG reworks. LMG made on coming for both games. He was like, nah, I'm not having it today. Level 1 Bren. This shows how, how much I don't use these guns because the Bren is horrible as a gun itself. Like it used to be. This might be the most usable LMG out of all of them now at least. He was completely lost. And it reloads ridiculously fast, which is very nice, honestly, I think, since it's... Also, I hope my audio isn't too much left centered because I have a microphone a little bit more right this time. But as I said, they, that's how I'm sitting, at least. Yes, you know, that's how this game sometimes is. I don't know if we can do a second round with this with, with this something taking, taking this long. Honestly, we might just make this video six minutes or something. Honestly, this is a good alternative for the Odin, all things considered, like... Have your, uh, like have stuff like your AK Galil as first and then use the brand as, as a substitute for your LMG for your own. Because this thing, quite frankly, 30 damage close range is pretty damn neat. I actually quite like it. It free taps head. Most ARs can do that though, so nothing that impressive to be honest. You die, thank you. Excuse me, honey badger player. This is why you don't use the honey badger anymore. Oh well. We will at least be able to drop 50 though, which is nice. I mean, close range I still die, but other than that, yeah. Do not use the honey badger and remove that man face, it's ugly. Let me know in the comments if you don't if you like the man face or not. Please guys hate the man face, I hate this thing. Where is everyone? Give me my give me my free kills, please. Not this time, brother. Oh, hell. But I mean, the spread really strokes, screws this gun over. And that's pro and honestly, th this is probably the reason why they made it so that, that it's this uh, thing view. That you that it like this uh, kind of awkward like uh, shoulder ADS. Not quite ADS. But yeah, anyways, I think this one should be enough. So if you enjoyed today's video, then don't forget to leave a like, comment, and obviously subscribe as it's the best way to show me that you guys like the content that I make. But anyways, I hope you guys have a nice day, evening, or night. I'm Raux, your Aimbox content creator, and we're gonna see you straight in the next one. Ciao, ciao!